Hi everyone, we're going to do adding and subtracting rational expressions today. So we're going to break this up in two parts. We'll do a couple more basic problems today. And then I'll have another one with a little bit more advanced problems in the other video. So as we look at the adding and subtracting, we're going to add and subtract fractions. Okay. First thing that you need in order to add and subtract fractions is a least common denominator, an LCD. So we have to find an LCD first, a least common denominator. Okay, so if you look back at our last video, we spent the time finding a least common denominator. So if I look at the first example, three over six plus five X over four minus Y over eight, I wanna find first an LCD for each of these. So I look at each of the numbers and our number six, four, and eight. What would be a least common denominator between six, four, and eight? So a multiple of each of the numbers that's the smallest. So to, in order to do that, best process that you have for that is take the biggest number, eight, start listing out the multiples of that. Eight, 16, check. Does six go into 16? No, so you have to move on. 24, check. Does six go into 24? Yes. Does four go into 24? Yes, eight does. So that would be your least common denominator, 24. So now you have to decide what are you multiplying by each of them. So you know your denominator is now going to be 24, 24, and 24. What do you multiply by each of them in order to get 24? So to get from 6 to 24, you multiply by 4, which means you have to multiply the numerator by 4. 3 times 4 is 12. 4 you multiply by 6. So 5x times 6 is 30x. But then 8 times 3 would be 24, so you're going to have 3y. Now, once you get to this with a common denominator, you simplify the numerator, simplify the top, combine any like terms. Between 12, 30x, and 3y, do you have any like terms? No, so you can either leave it like that, which is fine, or write it all over one denominator of 24 and make it 12 plus 30x minus 3y. Okay. Now, let's look at this problem. 5 over x plus 2x over, plus 2 over x plus 3. So again, first step, we have to find the least common denominator. Now, with this problem, it's a little bit tricky. Uh, it's a little bit different, not tricky, but it's a little bit different because there's no numbers in the numerator, in the denominator. So how do you find your LCD? Well, there's no factoring involved. So since these are both different and there's no factoring, the LCD is actually just the two denominators put next to each other. So now whenever you have a situation like this where there's no factoring and these are different, you can literally just make the denominator, both them together, x and x plus three, plus x and x plus three, and just cross multiply. So this is gonna be five times x plus three. This is gonna be two x. Now, once you get to this point, simplify the numerator. So you just simplify the numerator. So we distribute here. So we'll have 5x plus 15 over x times x plus 3 plus 2x over x times x plus 3. Simplify more combining in like terms that they have. 2x and 5x go together. So that's going to make... 7x plus 15 over x times x plus 3. And that would be your final answer. Okay. Now let's look at one where we have some subtracting. All right. So this problem, 3 over x minus 4 minus 4 over x plus 5. Similar to last problem, where there's no factoring in the LCDs, that each denominator is different. So that means the LCD is each of these binomials written together. So right away when you see this, you can automatically cross multiply these out. So that means in our numerator, it's going to be 3 times x plus 5. And the other numerator is going to be 4 times x minus 4. Now my denominator, it's going to be the two binomials written together. x minus 4 times x plus 5. Now notice, I just put it all as one fraction this time. Last problem. I did two separate fractions. This problem, I did one fraction. Either way is fine. Whatever way you want to do is fine. This is definitely a good way to do it. Okay, now we're going to simplify just the numerator. 
Okay, distribute. So we have 3x plus 15. When you distribute out here, when you have a subtraction problem, you have to make sure the negative is included. So this is negative four, so it's minus four X. This negative has to be included, so it's negative four times negative four, so it's plus 16. So when you have a minus, make sure you include that negative and distribute out to both. Okay, and all of that's still over, X minus four times X plus five. Now, combine your like terms, three X, Minus 4x is negative 1x, or just negative x. 15 plus 16 would be plus 31 over your LCD of x minus 4 times x plus 5. And that would be your final answer.